Hello, I'm Heidi Wittenberg. I wanted to talk a little bit about transvaginal 101 care. I'm a pelvic reconstructive surgeon who specializes in gender confirmation surgery. Usually on my um, third post-op visit after vaginoplasty procedures, I do a brief uh, vagina 101 care that includes discussion on dilation, um, douching and discharge and looking out for bladder infections or UTIs. So number one, dilation. You will always have to dilate and don't let anybody tell you to stop dilating unless it's your surgeon. Um, there's only one or two instance, instances that I would tell you to stop dilating. Um, if you're having pain or discomfort, it's easier to go down in size in dilator and keep up the frequency. You can regain width, you can never regain depth. That would have to be um, a complicated surgical procedure. Number two, for douching and discharge, um, trans vaginas tend to be neutral and basic. Cisgender vaginas tend to be very acidic at 4.4 pH. Um, and that's because of the um, mucosal lining and the, the lubrication created is acidic and it keeps the the flora in check. Um, if it, the pH goes off, one time, uh, one side more basic, bacterial overgrow and there'll be a fishy odor. If it becomes more acidic, yeast overgrow. Um, trans vaginas or skin grafting vaginas tend to be neutral basic with a pH of seven. So unlike cis vaginas where we don't necessarily want patients to douche, we absolutely need skin grafting vaginas to douche. Douching is acidic and so it compensates for the lack of acidity and lubrication, and it helps flush out um, bacterial overgrowth, skin cells that have grown, and kind of the water-based smuts or desiccated um, residual that uh, collects in the vaginal area. So douching once a week to help flush out uh, the remnants to reacidify the um, vaginal lining is, is recommended. If you start to have a fishy odor before then, you can always up the quantity of time or number of times that you're doing um, douching. And any douche over the counter is acidic. You can also use um, vinegar, apple cider. Um, those are acidic as well. And you can Google um, douching recipes as well. Third is bladder infections. Very common with a shortened urethra to um, be more susceptible to bladder infections. It's the nature of having a shortened urethra, uh, more accessible to bacteria in the general area. So going to the bathroom, urinating more frequently, feeling like you're not emptying, only have small, small amounts of urine when you're peeing, burning when you urinate, or blood in your urine um, are signs of bladder infections. You should call your primary care or your GYN to uh, let them know you have these symptoms and they'll either call in a prescription for you or have you come in to leave a urine sample and then prescribe you some medications. Um, if your symptoms are not resolving after three days, please call your provider again, um, one to make sure you have the appropriate treatment and make sure nothing else is going on. This is your Transvagina 101 talk.